I lost it. I'm losing my light. It's over. Don't judge me. Pick somebody else. Hello besties and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we are talking about the solo date. You guys, I have heard so much about the solo date and I kind of feel in my feelings about it and I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why. But today I have some fun. You know I love fun videos. If you're new here, yes girl, yes guy, I love to have fun with these videos and bring them to life. So I have 12 fragrances. Wait, wait, three, six, nine, 10. Okay, 11, because I just couldn't stick to the assignment and I've compartmentalized them. I have the solo, fancy, dainty, feminine girl. Then I have the solo, bossy, sassy, independent girl. What fragrances each person would wear out of the categories. And then I have the solo, classy, sophisticated, bougie, kind of, you know, kind of stuck up kind of girl, just a little bit. I'm a little bit of all these girls. I'm telling you right now to your, straight up to your face. That was Drake, ah, just in case you didn't know. But I'm telling you right now, straight up to your face. I'm a little bit of all these girls. One, I just have a little bit in me, but the rest of them, I pretty much can fit the bill. The other and the last category is relaxed, chill, laid back, and minimalistic. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, I'm trying to stick to the assignment. I made the rules, I've danced to the beat of my own drum, but I'm trying to follow my own direction, and that's hard. Anyways, here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous darling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, wanna be a part of, stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day cause you know I like to know what you're rocking. If this seems like your vibe or your zhuzh, consider hitting the subscribe button, don't stop there. Tap the notification bell and of course if you really, really, only if you really wanna become a bestie, come over, slide in the DM and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, I'm not gonna keep you waiting. We jumping into this video right now. You guys, it is pouring down raining. It's been raining all day. I'm not a rain kind of girl. I'm just not. Okay, anyways, girl, we are not here for that. But anyways, here's why I'm in my feelings about the solo date. I'm gonna tell you straight up right now. The only way I would do a solo date is if I, ew, is if I had to and nobody would talk to me. Because you guys, I talk to everybody. I am a people person. I love connecting and chatting and meeting with people. I got it from my dad, I get it from my dad. I just love community, I love team, I love people, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I would not wanna go somewhere by myself, I would be so bored, and it could be too, because like, for many, many years, I was the only child, and I think that's why, and like, I'm already my own best friend. Like, I talk to myself, I get dressed with myself, I'm always like, bro. Like, my guy would come upstairs and he'd be like, oh, I thought you were on the phone. I was like, oh no, I was talking to myself. I mean, that's what she does. Being an only child, a lot of times, I had to improvise. I had to put the dolls over there, make them talk, and then I would talk. I'm not. <laughs> you know, you guys are like, how did this get here? But I have to give you a little bit of the backstory. So I'm not the kind of girl that wants to go on a solo trip. I wanna go on trips with people, but in the event that I had to, I really don't still feel I would be alone because I will be talking to everybody and I will probably be living on my phone. But here are some fragrances, 11 to be exact, for the solo date. And I wanna hear from you. Which gal are you? Which guy are you? Which category do you fit in? Let's start with the fancy, Pretty girl, pretty woman, dainty, girly girl, feminine girl. Now you know right off the bat, you already know if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, it would have been Delina. But I have been talking about Delina nonstop. I was like, girl, sit down, enough right now. Just chill, chill, but you know you would be at the forefront of the list. So we said Delina, but you didn't hear that. So I have three coming in in that category. Spell on You that I picked up by Louis Vuitton. This is a very beautiful fragrance. I picked this up, I believe, last year. And when I first smelt it on sample, I was like, oh, that smells like pickles. Like, absolutely not. But it's actually really beautiful. I had to find a place to compartmentalize it. So I would say this girl would be like, like I said, dainty, real pretty girl, clean, beautiful aesthetics. She likes everything to match. She likes everything to look good. She's gonna look at the outfit before she leaves the house. Everything is gonna be in place, not a hair out of place. She definitely knows how to pull it together. She would be rocking 
something like Spell on You, just a few of the notes, you guys, a few of the notes. Floral Iris, it has rose, jasmine, and white musk. It's more geared probably towards, I would say spring, summer, uh, early fall. You can get away with it. It is a beautiful fragrance. Louis Vuitton, Fragrances are really nice. Some of you always ask me, do I have them? Um, I have a ton of samples. This is, I have three bottles, um, but this is the only one that I really reach for. The other two are my guys, so um, he reaches for those. But this one right here, I really do feel this is good. I move on. Another pretty girl, feminine girl, dainty girl is this one here. This is Prada Paradox. This is Pear, Tangerine, Bergamot, Orange Blossom, Neroli. It has vanilla down in the base. This is a beautiful fragrance, clean aesthetic, same type of thing. Another one that would fit in that same realm, same category will be Chance Utendre. And this is the pink one from the Chance line now they do have a toilette and then they do have an eau de parfum and that is this one here it has a rose it has grapefruit it has white musk it's fruity it's a uh, this one right here is sexy people sleep on it they think that it's cute it's like oh my god it's pink it's cute this is sexy this is gonna get you some attention captivate some attention hold some attention and it's chanel dwelling would you expect it to do anything other oh my god it brings back so many memories don't do it, girl. That's why I don't take the cap off of all of them. But this one here will be perfect for your solo date for that type of gal. I move on. I do have a favorite category in this uh, segment. I do have a favorite category. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. I know, I know, but that wasn't it. I move on. The next segment would be solo date for the bossy, sassy, independent, I'ma get it done with or without you. We're forced when we're together, but I could be cool by myself, okay, <laughs> okay? This woman does not need you, but she might want you. What song was that? Somebody help me out in the comment section. I don't need you, but I want you. Oh my gosh, I was jamming to that like all one summer and I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, leave it in the comment section. Anyway, this woman would be reaching for Fenty. Rihanna shut it down in the Super Bowl. I mean, I enjoyed the performance. I hadn't seen her dance in a while. I hadn't seen her move, groove, get down. So I enjoyed it. Yes, thoroughly I did. I am a Rihanna fan, absolutely fan girl. I love her. Um, and I think that her fragrance is kind of bossy, sexy. It's doing its own thing. She does not need anybody to tell her anything. Now when I first got it, always gonna keep it real, I was not a fan. I was like, what in the world? What happened here? What am I experiencing right now? But after I compartmentalized it, I was like, uh oh, was that the assignment? Oh, I didn't get the memo. This is really long lasting. I wore this um, to the airport a couple of weeks ago. And um, when I got to the hotel, the next day, I, you know, I have to you pack your clothes up and put them in your hamper bag. I was still able to smell this like days later. I was like, oh my gosh, this is wild berry, tangerine. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, you gotta smell it. This is definitely not a safe blind buy. Now that they have it at Sephora, if you have not got your nose on it yet, I would say pop in, see if you can get a whiff of it. It's really good in my opinion. And I think that right now, it's sexy. I like it better. Well, I don't know, cause I didn't really love it in the summer. But right now in the cold weather, I'm loving it. Okay, I move on. Now this is a boss babe, okay? This right here, no introduction needed. YSL Libre Intense, okay? You can't tell her nothing. I told you I put her on one day, she took over the whole show. I was like, I tell you all the time, I am the moment, but you're being the moment. This fragrance was taking over the whole show. It was being the entire moment. I oversprayed and I was like, oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It does have lavender in it. Um, to me, I know a lot of people always ask when I talk about the intense, how come I don't talk about the original? It wasn't my zhuzh. And how come I don't talk about the uh, the latest one that came out? Mm, I, didn't, I didn't feel the need to, to buy it. I didn't love it that much. Out of all of them, the one that I smelled that I enjoyed the most was the intense. And I couldn't tell you why, it just, it just really was. It's hot, it's heavy to me, it's got the vanilla in it, it's got orange blossom, Madagascar. It's just what it brings out of me. It's bold, it's sensual, it's classy, it's sassy. It's like, um, really? You know what I mean? It's that face. You know how the girl's looking at you and she's like, you're telling her something and she don't believe nothing you're saying. So you're talking and she's like, uh-huh, hmm. That face? That's this girl, that's this woman, I move on. And the final one is this one here. You guys, the dent in this bottle, I know you can't see it. Can you see it? Look, do you see that there? Oh God. The dent in this bottle is real. This is goddess. 
This is Alien Goddess. This is the original and I absolutely love this. It's coconut, it's vanilla. I feel this could be worn year round. I've been wearing it year round. That's why the dent is as big as it is. But in the summertime, oh my gosh. Now, I'm waiting to layer this with Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I wanna see what it gives. I wanna see what it gives. And there's a new one out. Ooh, I'll pop up a picture. I wanna layer this one that I'm popping up the picture of. It's very, um, I don't know, milky fragrance. It's kind of like tonic or what have you, but I've been playing with it and I think it will pair really nicely with this. So anyways, I, I don't know where I went off on that story, but anyways, this here is another bossy, sassy woman. I move on. Our next category is for the chill gal, the chill guy, relaxed, you know, laid back, really not gonna, you know, start up, fight or fuss, just real chill, chill vibes, you know, can go either way. You know, I'm good with or without, either way it goes, I'm good. You know what I mean? A person that's just into themselves, they don't really need a lot from others, they don't really require a lot, they're just, you know, they're just chill. Everything that I said, they're just laid back. They don't want a fragrance too loud, they don't want something too in your face, it's their solo date, they're looking to get away, maybe go to a spa maybe you know take themselves to dinner see that's the part i would struggle with going to dinner because i would be talking to all the people at the restaurant like girl what are you doing here what'd you get because if i don't have anybody with me i'm gonna talk to other people it's what i do my family are, is always telling me especially my guy he was like can we just get our food because you've been talking to the waitress or the waiter or the hostess or the manager or whoever all day we have not even placed our order yet but we've been here 45 minutes they enjoyed my company. I enjoyed their company. We were talking, relax. No, I'm just kidding. So anyways, this person is a chill person, you guys. You know I love talking. I'm sure you can tell by how I am with these videos. Velvet Tonka by BDK. Another one, absolutely amazing, you guys. Everything will be linked in the description box for you below. This is Velvet Tonka by BDK. Absolutely beautiful. When I first got it, I think I was expecting more. I think I was expecting something to slap me in the face and that didn't happen and that's okay. I have compartmentalized it. I sleep in this a lot. I mix it with other fragrances. It has a beautiful almond note in it. It's got some vanilla in it. It's beautiful. It dries down. It's creamy. It's cozy. It holds you tight. It doesn't really let you go. I get a good moderate longevity out of this. It's really nice. When I first got it, I just wanted it to be hot and heavier. I don't know what I was thinking. It said Velvet Tonka. I mean, it said Velvet Tonka. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought it was going to give me something else. But what it gave now, I can totally appreciate it. And I absolutely love this fragrance. So if you're a person that's not really into a whole bunch of, you know, loud fragrances or something that's gonna meet you at the door or meet you in the car, this would be a way to go. It's a beautiful fragrance and I would highly recommend it. I move on. Another one for that spa, zen person. Maybe they just are looking to relax. They're gonna go to like a yoga retreat. You know, some people take solo dates and they go to like solo retreats. I have seen people People do this where they go they do yoga they do Zen they do meditation would you guys believe that I taught yoga I do I mean I'm not practicing right now but I taught yoga I taught <laughs> when I first tell people I was teaching yoga they were like what how you guys hello and I was really good at it let me say I am good at it but the fragrance that I would recommend or the fragrance that I would suggest or say that person would reach for would be the harmonist this is sacred water this is so beautiful I did a campaign with them I don't know if it was last year or the year before and it was such a beautiful experience because I took this fragrance out by the water I just felt that it was fitting and oh my gosh it's so good so refreshing it's perfect for spring perfect for summer uh, the Harmonists have some of the prettiest fragrances. The bottles are different as well, they're unique. It's got some ginger, some orange blossom, amber, it's got cedar. It's a, it's a beautiful fragrance. It smells very sacred. And it also smells like water, like being down by the ocean, like being, um, you know, somewhere aquatic or something like that. Somewhere where you're just gonna zen, zone and mellow out. Perfect for the minimalistic, perfect for the girl that doesn't want a big fuss. Perfect, this is a man, woman, boy, child, human, okay? This is a unisex fragrance. So perfect for the man, the guy, who doesn't want to have a whole lot going on but would like to smell fresh, inviting, clean, aquatic even, this is the way to go. I move on. Now the last one, when I, in this category, when I bought this fragrance, I was thinking, I got it for church. Stop, I did. I got it for church because I was like, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna be 
wearing this to church because this is pretty, this is girly, this is feminine. This is like mild mannered. It's, it's for the minimalistic. It's pretty, it's in, it's not in your face. It's not disturbing the peace. You know, when you go to church, you sit kind of close uh, proximity to people. So I was like, perfect. So I bought it right before, uh, you know, what happened and everybody was staying home. So anywho, um, yeah, I haven't reached for it much. I would reach for it if I was going back to the office. This is Femi Perel. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys what it is. This is Femi Perel by Mason Francis Kirk John. For those of you that are in the office and you're looking for something that you can wear year round, it shines in the spring and the summer. Um, it's beautiful. It's signature scent worthy. It's, it's crowd pleasing in my opinion, I would say. I still didn't say it was blind by worthy, but I do feel it's crowd pleasing. This is really good. And it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's a white floral. It's got iris in it, rose. It's got orange blossom. It's a very clean fragrance in my opinion. And the longevity, if I recall, it was kind of moderate. I didn't feel it was beast mode. It's not in your face. And it didn't turn into a skin scent either. So I would definitely say this is a beautiful scent. If you're looking for something and you want something just classy, feminine, uh, minimalistic, not doing too much, this is definitely a way to go. I move on. Okay, now my favorite category. <laughs> yes, Dwelly, my favorite category. Oh my gosh, you guys, my favorite category is the classy, sophisticated, bougie. <laughs> a little bit like, mm one of those okay that is my favorite category don't judge me pick somebody else but amirage material that's definitely gonna fall in that category it is so uber good i have did a whole two videos to this and a TikTok and a reel it's just that good it is so uber uber sexy in my opinion it's bossy it's kind of commanding your attention but at the same time it's sultry even i definitely think this is a great way to go a few of the notes in here you guys are patchouli it has some vanilla madagascar benzoin it has tonka bean incense gayak wood that's why i love it it's got all the notes i love labdamum oud off mantis oh my gosh it's a beast. It's a beast and it, it comes in the room before you do. And it stays there long after you leave. And that's how I feel about my presence. When I meet you, you know. And when I leave, you miss me. At least most people do, I'm just saying. Anyways, I move on. Okay, another one is, this too is a beast boss, um, you know, bougie. Uh, and I don't think of, let me say this too, cause I don't, I don't think of bougie as a bad word. I don't think of it as something demeaning. I know people try and make it like that. Like, oh my God, you're so bougie. I don't feel that way about it. It, I am who I am. I like what I like. It is what it is. And that's fine with me. Everybody doesn't have to be the same thing. Everything isn't for everyone. Be who you are because there's enough people trying to be other people. So be who you are. If you got that, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the subscribe, you need to come back and see me again. I move on. To bit. it's absolutely amazing. It is a beast. It is long lasting. It is projecting like nobody's business. It is in that same family with Strignina. Um, what's the other one? Caparia, oh God, I don't know if I told you guys about that one yet, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Kyberia, that's what it's called, girl. You just can't be making up names. Kyberia, it's so good. This one here, I'm not spraying it there. I'm spraying it on me. Oh yes, oh, it opens up very fruity. Bergamot, peach, coconut. It has some amber in it, cotton candy. This is good. This is sexy, this is bossy, this is classy, this is bougie. This is what you're wearing. It's like, oh me, that's too bad. To who? To bad. <laughs> I move on. You guys, I do not need to be in the house as much. I'm having way too much fun. I told you it's raining. I don't know if we're gonna go out or not. So I was already dressed. I was doing some content earlier and I was like, you already know I'm gonna talk to the girls and the guys. But anyways, you guys, the other one would be Yes, it was gonna be in here. I couldn't leave out Baccarat and Delena. I mean, come on now, what kind of friend? I'm told you, I am a loyal friend. Baccarat Rouge 540 is definitely going to be in that list, on that list of the classy, sophisticated, bougie girl or woman or guy, okay? This will definitely fit the bill. The next one is Clive Christian, Queen Anne. This right here is absolutely amazing. It is so super classy. Whenever I wear this, I tell you guys, I just act different. I sit up a little taller. Um, 
I'm definitely checking everything, peeping the surroundings, seeing what's going on. It just makes me act just a little bit different. I know it's because it's a Clive Christian fragrance, bergamot, black pepper, it's a boozy rum note in here. It's got some chocolate, it's kind of gourmand, it's got some leather, it's got some plum. This right, oh God, I don't even have anywhere else to spray. I have nowhere else to spray. My sunlight is leaving, that was never here, but it's, it's leaving. Mm. And then it's a little green too. It's a little green too. This one right here is really good too. Like I stated, you guys, everything is going to be linked in the description box below. If you have not had a chance to hit the subscribe button and you enjoy the content over here, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Come over and say hi on Instagram and I will see you besties in the next one. Until next time, guys, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching.